Hello and welcome to another update video about Litecoin. So we've been talking about this Elliott Wave Triangle now for a while. It adheres to the count nicely. And if I zoom out a little bit more, you can see the underlying wave structure. The idea is still here for Litecoin that price started to move up in June in a so-called wave one impulse. I know that was a leading diagonal, sorry. Then a wave two to the downside, a wave down, overshooting B wave and the C wave down, which bottomed here at $47.50. Against this level, we focused on higher, had here another one, two setup, a wave three, a wave four, a wave five in wave three. I don't like this structure, I can tell you that. That's why I am skeptical about this chart. I'm skeptical about this impulse and long term. I mean, short term, absolutely. I guess it's, it's nice, it's tradable, it adheres at the moment perfectly to this Elliott wave count. Yeah, we've been talking about that now for more than a week, this Elliott, this triangle count, um, maybe even a couple of weeks, if not longer actually. Um, and it adheres to it very, very nicely. It's just that this third wave doesn't really look good. And if we break below the 65, 77 level, this is over, okay? And we're going to break down. The long-term chart for Litecoin is not attractive um, for me personally, okay? It is, a, it is a, a chart that lost out against Bitcoin and cycle over cycle. So for me, this is not great, but it's just, it's obviously tradable as an altcoin, right? As long as the account is holding. That's the case with all altcoins, okay? They are tradable, they are good as long as the structures are holding. For most coins in this bear market, the structures didn't hold and then you just need to let them go normally, right? Um, you need to learn that, letting them go, not holding on to them. And yeah, you know, we, we had a lot of them that just, and a lot of them I don't cover because they, they are broken, okay? And until they show, that doesn't mean they couldn't at some point become bullish again. It's just that as long as they don't show any impulsive structures, there's no point looking at them, okay? So, but this one is an interesting one, mm, even though I don't like the wave three, but it's a valid one. And then here the wave four as a triangle to be counted as an A wave, a B wave, a C wave, a D wave. We hit our target and now we're coming down in an E wave. And as long as we are not breaking again below 65.77, the triangle is valid. And if you know about a little bit about Elliott wave, know a little bit about Elliott wave triangles, we would normally expect it to break out to the opposite side of the E wave. The E wave is the wave which is probably currently in the making as far as we can see it. And the E wave would complete the fourth wave of this impulse. An impulse has five waves, so there's one more wave to go, which should ideally take place to the upside. So again, as long as 65.77 is holding, the triangle is valid. Ideally, price already, well, price doesn't break below the C wave low. That's 75 40. If the price now breaks below that level, it would, in my opinion, increase probabilities that the triangle will fail, but it will not invalidate it. And if it breaks below it, that means we have to first reset the C wave and it means the entire triangle extends. The D wave would then need to move over and the E wave because the E wave can never go beyond the C wave. Okay, If it happens, the triangle extends and then it makes it sort of unreliable until it you know shows us that it indeed still is a triangle but yeah these are sort of the constraints and to get a confirmation that the triangle indeed is breaking out to the upside we need to see a break above the b wave high and that is at 103.50 and it would then also need to take a, a the break above this swing high the 17th of february swing high at 150 105 dollars and 60. Now, if we zoom in a little bit, um, as I said, we are probably in this E wave at the moment. Could be that obviously we bounced off our target zone here. We came down quite strongly in what I would count as an A wave. It looks quite impulsive on the way down. We moved up in three waves. So typically the E wave, yeah, and a tri well, the last wave of a triangle would consist of three waves. So we're considering, first of all, an ABC structure. Let's double check to which retracement. Okay, so it, it adhered or it followed um, standard FIP retracements. It retraced into the area between the 50% and the 61.8 retracement. 
That's normally what you want to see for a B wave. So at the moment, also because it reacted to it, we can assume the B wave is in. However, if we break above the B wave high, it would mean that we get a bit of an extension to the upside. The B wave is then still unfolding. So if that happens, and I go to the one hour chart now, if we go above that high, it doesn't, well, it could obviously mean already that the triangle is finished and we're breaking out to the upside. But I would rather say, as I can see it now, this would likely be just a wave W here an X wave and then a Y wave to the upside before we come down in the C wave. It's a very, it's very corrective structure, right? It's very messy at the moment because a triangle is consisting of several corrections. So that wouldn't be a surprise. So WXY structure in wave B with a, with a, yeah, a C wave um, down basically here to, to follow, right? So yeah, this is sort of what I'm observing now. And if we say, all right, um, what is actually a target for the E wave? So we can calculate that. We can calculate that. It's not super reliable, but because we are dealing here with corrections and they are not so reliable, not as reliable as an impulse. But what do we get if we measure targets? The first target is $86.90. Now that was already reached. The ideal target is the 61.8 Fibonacci extension level at $80.35. Now this is not a level where I say it needs to get there, but looking at the proportions, it would be quite reasonable to expect price to get there, to, to finish somewhere in this region. We can, we, can, um, we can normally look at this in a triangle and it, it just looks best and it is often a target that is reached and if we're lucky, it just touches it and turns around. But it's more like, you know, a level to watch, not necessarily a level the price definitely needs to get to. Yeah, and that is at the moment everything I can tell you really about Litecoin. So either the B wave top is already in or we get an extended B wave will depend a little bit on how price develops here now. It will depend a little bit on Bitcoin. Certainly I wouldn't rule out a higher B wave and the B wave is valid as long as we stay below the 97.50 level. Okay, that's my update about Litecoin. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.